uh, by the name of Juhab. Uh, in every Arab country, they call him Juhab. And everyone claims Juhab to be one of their own. Sometimes he's very smart, sometimes he's very crazy, and so on and so forth. In Turkey, I believe they call him Hoja. In Arab countries, they call him Juhab, and so on and so forth. So basically, Juhab was traveling with his son one day. They were going to the market. And Juha was on the back of his donkey and his son was walking next to him. So basically they passed by a group of people and the people were not too happy. They said, oh, look at this man with no rahmah in his heart. He is on the back of the donkey, his son is walking. When Juha heard this, he got off the donkey and he put his son on the back of the donkey and Juha started to walk with, with the donkey. They passed by another group and they were not too happy with Juha's son. They said, what are you? What's wrong with you? You're on the back of the donkey and your old dad is walking? Like, you have no respect? What's wrong with you? So Juha told his son, okay, stay on the back of the donkey. And Juha got on the back of the donkey with his son. They passed by another group and they started to shout at them. What happened to animal rights? Two big people like you on the back of a small miskin donkey like this? So Juha and his son, they got off the back of the donkey and they actually carried the donkey, both of them. They passed by another group and they started to laugh at them and they said, look at these crazy people, Majnoon. So they got off the back of the donkey, both of them, and they walked with the donkey. They passed by another group and they said, why did Allah create donkeys? To walk them like dogs? You crazy or what? So Juha told his son, don't try to please everyone. Just try to please the one, capital O, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how hard you try to do, how nice you are, somebody will complain. Even if you fall flat and people walk all over you, they will complain that you're not flat enough. <laughs> At the end of the day, try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will come situations in your life, you will have to choose between pleasing Allah and pleasing the people. Eventually, nobody will be happy. Somebody will open their mouth and complain. Obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to please Him. We'll continue some other time inshallah ta'ala. Uh, the question for tonight, we gave the prize last, ti last time, but uh, the question for tonight inshallah, it says in the Quran, once the punishment comes for a people for disobeying and rejecting and denying the Prophet, the punishment is going anywhere. It, the punishment has to befall them and crush them. There's only one exception in the Quran. The uh, punishment was set to come, the people begged Allah for mercy and they cried for so long. Eventually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifted the punishment and they were not destroyed. Allah gave them uh, a long time to survive and enjoy life. If you know this uh, people, email me before tomorrow. Asr at imam mustafa at anatoliacenter.ca.